games tonight in Cagliari, in Rome, in Genoa, Sampdoria that is, and Torino and Palermo will keep you up to date with all of them. No goals anywhere so far. Space here for Lorenzo Insigne. It goes for goal in shell, but it very nearly paid off Tatarashanu. Happy sign, Dulam. So much energy and ability. That's the drive from Renzo Insigne. See, just a little bit of whip and dip on the ball. He did well to deal with it. But Insigne, in particular, loves the BT Sport score from 2.30. Here's Insigne. Offside when he receives it, but comes back inside onto his right foot. He's already stung the hand of Tatarashanu already once in this game. This time, Tatarashanu has absolutely no chance of getting anywhere near it. That shot is like a missile into the top corner. You're not saving that one. Wow. He started it way. Akira Talus throw on 108, and you know who on 115. Can they carve something open? It's Kalinic. Oh, it could have been a lot more. Cristoforo found him. Couldn't fire it in from the angle. A yeah, really good opportunity, this. Definitely give the ball away in the middle of the pitch. It's good movement. Good ball from Cristoforo. Kalinic is just forced wide by his first touch. Take it away from Albiol. On his weaker left foot, can't quite guide it on target. Albiol does enough to force him wide. Fiorentina needs some magic of their own. Rain awaits, and it's deflected! Bernadeschi's goal with a big helping hand, and La Viola on level at the Octavio Franchi. Well, there's a huge slice of luck in this goal, isn't there, but... Paolo Sosa for sure will take it with the way that he's that's been going recently. Comes off the back of Jose Callejon, turns his back away from it as he jumps to get high in the wall. Comes off his back, he's Pepe Reina stranded as he watches it go into the back of the net. Wasn't going to trouble Pepe Reina the initial shot, but ends up in the back of the net because players rather than staying strong and jumping straight to the ball end up turning their back to one down. The solo are down to 10 men. Mertens chasing down, Tomovic caught. Dries runs in on goal. He's done it again. The man who can't stop scoring puts Napoli back in front. Well, Nena Tomovic wheeled away with his head in his hands and you can understand why it's a howl of a mistake he almost brings Mertens down he doesn't control it, needs to go under his foot then almost brings him down but this is a finish of a striker who's in absolute supreme form the angle's against him, he opens up his body hits it with his right foot, bends it towards the far post oh it's been an incredible journey can Fiorentina respond again what a night this has been so far, Bernadeschi, and here they come again, Bernadeschi, equaliser, he hit it like a rocket, and the local hero makes it 2-2, two, two. two goals in two minutes, on a thrilling night in Florence, well it's another sensational goal in this hot dinner of a match, what a game this has been, Bernadeschi with an absolute peach of a finish. They allow him to run too far with the ball. They don't close him down, but yeah, what an absolutely unerring shot past Pepe Reina. Just out of his reach there. Do you question mark him? I think you've got to give credit to the strike. The fact that it's gone in off the post means that it's right in the corner. Brilliant strike from Bernadeschi. Fiorentina. He proved he's a player. 
Obviously, he's been pure on team with Josh Blair. Absolutely on the evening. Bernadeschi's got two goals, but the ace has been the player. Bernadeschi to pick the pass to Zarate! top draw, picks him out to a tee, absolutely inch perfect but to have the skill and the quality to take that first time on the volley, pass it into the net, he doesn't even strike it with his laces, he passes this into the net, it is a beautiful finish from Mauro Zarate, really is a little shadow. Чуть-чуть не хватило ему до 